Purpose To introduce students to fundamentals of systems and information systems, types of information systems, e.g., transaction processing systems, information, management information systems, decision support systems, and the management of business information systems. It also covers technology concepts such as hardware, software, database management, telecommunications, and office automation. Figure 1 below contains a schematic presentation of the content of the AIN 1501 module. I see the world. I promise you, babe. Study Unit 1. Fundamentals of Systems and Information Systems, IS. Learning Outcomes. After studying this study unit, you should be able to define a system, explain an open and closed system, describe system performance measurement, explain why an information system needs to be replaced or improved, describe system development, explain system development life cycles, Discuss the role of accountants and auditors in system development. Define an information system. Explain information systems and their role in an organization. Explain the stages of a computerized information process. Explain organizing the IS department. One Introduction in the overview we looked at the information used in most organizations. Organizations use information systems to manage their information, reduce uncertainties and costs and increase revenues and service delivery. Organizations make decisions daily and need planning to implement such decisions. In order to plan, knowledge of resources, time scales for implementation and possible outcomes are needed. This knowledge comes from the information provided by information systems. Systems form part of our daily lives. The school system which you have moved through is possibly the most important system you have experienced. A world with no systems would be a disorganized place. In this study unit, you will learn more about information systems and the role played by information systems and computerized information systems. This study unit, Study Unit 1, deals with the development of an information system and different development life cycles. The advantages and disadvantages of the different development approaches are discussed in detail. 2. What is a system? A system is a set of two or more components that serve a common purpose and interact to achieve a common goal. A system consists of subsystems or elements that perform specific functions supporting the larger system, Boys et al. 2017. The components of a system and the relationship among them can be explained as follows. Input Processing Output Figure 1.1, The Components of a System Source, Boys et al. 2017 Three open or closed systems Although systems operate within their environment, some systems have no effect on their environment and do not affect the environment within which they operate. A system that is isolated from its environment is called a closed system. An example would be an automatic washing machine, where the dirty clothes and washing powder are the input, while the processing stage of the washing cycle would be the selection of a suitable program and the operation of the machine. Clean clothes are the output. An open system interacts with its environment. 
The environment affects it and it, in turn, affects its environment. Most business systems are open systems, for example, a purchasing system, where the purchase order requests comprise the input. The processing stage consists of identifying the items and the quantities that should be ordered and the output comprises placing the order with preferred suppliers. Feedback includes the communication of order dates, quantities and delivery dates to the department that placed the order. Observable activities explain how the job should be done. The performance standards document explains the results that are expected for satisfactory performance of the system. A system variable is the quantity or item that can be controlled by the decision maker. The price a company charges for its products is a system variable because it can be controlled by the company, and they can decide to change the price. A system parameter is a value or quantity that cannot be internally controlled, meaning it cannot be changed by a decision maker in the company. An example is the cost of raw material, as the supplier determines this cost. This system is an open system, and the external environment affects the system, for instance, suppliers' prices, the transportation of items and the availability of items to an organization. For system performance measurement, a system needs to be properly managed and controlled, like any other function in the organization. To ensure that the information system adds value and supports the organization, the quality must be monitored. System performance measurement is the monitoring of the working of the system to ensure it is effective, fulfills its responsibility, and makes the contribution it is supposed to make. Five reasons why an information system needs to be replaced or improved. We have already stated that all business systems should be open systems, and these are constantly influenced by changes in the environment. Typical changes include the following. Changes in technology. New technology can lead to new production processes or communication methods by using new and better equipment which will affect the information system. Changes in decision-making policies, for example, decisions to centralize decision-making in information systems, or to decentralize decision-making in information systems, will lead to a need to replace, change, or improve the existing information systems. Changes in the needs and demands of users and stakeholders, to improve decision-making, the needs of the different users of information change continually. Changes in the business environment, organizations need to stay competitive in an environment where the impact of an increasingly global market is enormous. Changes in the nature of the organization, changes in the activities of the organization, for example, more production lines or changes in production lines. This may also occur when two organizations merge. Changes to maintain a competitive advantage, a constant flow of new ideas and changes is necessary to stay ahead of the competition. Changes to improve performance and productivity, redesign of business processes and the information system to improve the performance and productivity of the organization. Depending on the impact of the change on the current system, a total redesign might be required. This will be covered in study units 14 to 16, or modifications may be made as part of system maintenance, covered in study unit 7. 6. System Development System development initiatives arise from all levels of an organization and are both planned and unplanned. Managers and employees are all users of information systems and are therefore part of the development process. Solid planning and managerial involvement help to ensure that system development initiatives support the broader organizational goals. This means even an information system that used state-of-the-art technology 10 years ago would now most likely be regarded as outdated. Thus, information system development is the process of creating a new information system or modifying a current information system.
by employing information technology to develop a system, problems or opportunities are transformed into solutions. Many reasons can be given for this, but the most important is probably the rapidly changing technological environment and the changing output needs of information systems, Boys et al. 2017. 7. System Development Life Cycle The development of an information system and meeting the needs of the business are complex, difficult, and expensive endeavors. The system development life cycle is a practical framework, which provides a broad context for the development stages of an information system, OXCO 2007-830. Various approaches exist, that all have advantages and disadvantages for the development of a new information system. Using the SDLC approach has some advantages and disadvantages for an organization that need to be considered and kept in mind when developing the system. They are as follows. 7.1 Traditional System Development Life Cycle, SDLC To overcome the complexity of a system development project and to improve the results, the process can be divided into several steps. Setting a goal and the tasks for each step will ensure the development of an effective and productive system. An Overview of a Traditional SDLC 7.1.1 Prototyping The development of new software is very expensive. One way to cut this cost is to build a scaled-down experimental version of the new information system, prototyping. Prototyping, also known as evolutionary lifecycle, means the end users can identify what they do not want as opposed to what they do want, OXCO 2007-875. The feedback of end users can be used to improve the initial system throughout the process until the system is finally complete. Note, prototyping can also be used as an implementation method in the design stage of the traditional SDLC. An Overview of Prototyping Figure 1.2 Overview of a Traditional SDLC 7.1.2 Rapid Application Development, RAD Rapid Application Development is a system development approach where workshops and focus groups gather the requirements of the new system from the end users. This method speeds up development. RAD makes the adapting of changes to system requirements easier and reduces paper-based documentation. User participation is facilitated, and source code is automatically generated. 7.1.3 End User Development Life Cycle End user development is a process where end users develop their own applications, using existing application software, to soive their information needs. 8. Role of Accountants and Auditors in System Development the System Development Life Cycle, SDLC, is of interest to accountants for two reasons. One, the creation of an IS represents a significant financial transaction that consumes both financial and human resources. System development is like any manufacturing process that produces a complex product through a series of stages. Such transactions must be planned, authorized, scheduled, accounted for, and controlled. Accountants are as concerned with the integrity of this process as they are with any manufacturing process that has financial resource implications. 2. A more pressing concern for accountants is the products that emerge from SDLC. The quality of AIS rests directly with the SDLC activities that produce them. These systems are used to deliver accounting information to internal and external users. The accountant's responsibility is to ensure that the system applies proper accounting conventions and rules and possesses adequate controls. Therefore, accountants are concerned with the quality of the process that produces AIS. For example, a sales order system produced by a defective SDLC may suffer from serious control weaknesses that introduce errors into databases and ultimately, the financial statements. 
The newly issued International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, have significantly transformed the accounting process and the accounting information system, AIS. Confronting the changes in information technology, i.e., using AIS appropriately is crucial to derive accurate information from which to process business transactions and report information in compliance with new IFRS, Nguyen, Chen and Nguyen 2021. In the process of selecting a system to be used by an organization, errors, omissions, and misrepresentations in the accounting for economic feasibility, such as ensuring that only escapable costs are used in calculations of cost-saving benefits and reasonable interest rates are used in measuring present values of cash flows of a proposed system, should be of primary concern to accountants. However, in a study conducted by Christina and Brahmanen, 2021, to find a solution for the lack of good managerial performance using management AIS, maze, and to prevent incidents that weaken the influence of the AIS on managerial performance, the result showed that role conflict was able to negatively moderate the influence of maze on managerial performance. It is important to clarify what the involvement of accountants should be. 8.1 Involvement of Accountants in System Development Accountants are involved in system development in the following three ways. Accountants are users. All systems that process financial transactions impact accounting function in some way. Like users, accountants must provide a clear picture of their problems and needs to the system professionals. For example, they must specify accounting techniques to be used, internal control requirements such as audit trail and special algorithms such as depreciation models. Accountants participate in IS as members of the development team. Their involvement often extends beyond the development of strictly accounting IS applications. Systems that do not process financial transactions may still draw on accounting data. The accountant may be consulted to provide advice or to determine whether the proposed system constitutes internal control risk. Accountants are involved in system development as auditors. AIS must be auditable. Some computer audit techniques require special features that must be designed into the system. The auditor slash accountant has a stake in such systems and must be involved early in their design. 8.2 Involvement of Accountants in Conceptual Design Accountants play an important role in the conceptual design of the system. They must recognize the control implications of each alternative design and ensure that accounting conventions and legal requirements are understood. Although at this stage it need not be specified in detail, they should be recognized as items to be addressed during the construction phase of the system. Furthermore, the auditability of a system partly depends on its design characteristics. Some computer auditing techniques require systems to be designed with built-in audit features. Such features require resources and need to be considered at conceptual design. 9. An information system is an information system is a set of interrelated elements or components that collect, input, manipulate, process, and disseminate, output, data and information, and provide a feedback mechanism to meet an objective. It is used as an organized way of collecting, processing, managing and reporting information for informed decision-making to achieve goals, Boys et al. 2017. Business firms and other organizations rely on ISs to carry out and manage their operations, interact with their customers and suppliers, and compete in the marketplace. An information system is a formal, socio-technical, organizational system designed to collect, process, store, and distribute information. It is an integration of components for collection, storage, and processing of data where the data is used to provide information, contribute to knowledge as well as digital products that facilitate decision-making. As such, IS interrelates with data systems on the one hand and activity systems on the other.
From a socio-technical perspective, information systems are composed by four components, namely tasks, people, structure, or roles, and technology. Some authors make a clear distinction between information systems, computer systems, and business processes. Information systems typically include an ICT component but are not purely concerned with ICT, focusing instead on the end use of information technology. Information systems are also different from business processes. Information systems help to control the performance of business processes. 10. The Role of Information Systems in Organizations Information systems are the heartbeat of any organization. According to Boys et al., 2017, information systems assist organizations in fulfilling certain functions. Organizations that use an information system that does not meet all users' requirements have a definite competitive disadvantage in the market. Therefore, organizations need to adapt their information system constantly using the latest technology, upgrading the existing system, or acquiring a new system. The SDLC will lead them through this process. One of the advantages of using an SDLC model is that a project can be managed properly. It is therefore possible to ensure that the organization makes the necessary progress. However, SDLC models do not guarantee that each step is completed successfully before the next one is started. If one of the steps were neglected, it would have a negative effect on the next step and the final result. Information systems also assist the organization to fulfill the following. Planning For long-term, strategic, planning, Management needs historical information on annual profit to determine growth. Information on the needs of consumers is also required to enable management to set realistic objectives. Information on, for instance, available resources, markets, possible outcomes of scenarios, and suppliers is needed to do short-term, operational, planning. Information systems provide this information and assist with the daily tasks of management. Recording transactions Transactions are recorded to use as evidence, thus meeting legal requirements, and to assess profitability. An information system is used to capture and process these transactions. You will learn more about the practical application of this in practical accounting data processing, AIN 2601 Decision Making One of management's daily tasks is to make decisions and choose between alternatives. If relevant information is available, it will reduce uncertainties and support the decision maker in selecting an option. An information system supports the decisions taken by management. Control and Performance Measurement Plans and objectives are put in place to enable management to measure performance. Management must ensure that plans are executed and the objectives are met. Information on the different business units and the business itself is required to control and monitor performance and to take corrective action. You will learn more about management's role in decision-making in Principles of Management Accounting, MAC 2601. Hardware, discussed in detail in Study Unit 4. Software, discussed in detail in Study Unit 4. Telecommunication, discussed in detail in Study Unit 4. People. People need to interact with the computer to enter data and retrieve information. People run, manage, and maintain a system and are the most important element in a computerized information system. Procedures Policies, methods, rules, and strategies for using the system are necessary to ensure order and control. Poorly developed and inadequate implementation of procedures will waste time or result in wrong decisions. Networks and the Internet, discussed in Study Unit 4. 
Databases, discussed in detail in Study Unit 4. A database comprises facts and information, organized and stored in two or more related data files. A database contains information on sales, purchases, inventories, employees, customers, and much more. 11A Computerized Information System Process The following diagram illustrates the computerized information system process and the relationship between the different stages. Figure 1.3, the computerized information system process. 12. Organizing the IS department. There are different ways for organizing an IS department. Accordingly, the organization could centralize, decentralize or outsource the IS department. The organization will need to consider the most efficient way to organize the IS department. 12.1 Centralization of an IS Department A centralized IT department means that IS staff and functions are situated in a single location such as the head office. 12.2 Decentralization of the IS Department A decentralized IS department means that IS staff and functions are distributed throughout the organization with every regional office or business unit usually having its own IS department. 12.3 Outsourcing of an IS Department The IS function does not necessarily need to be performed by a department within the organization itself. It can also be outsourced to an external service provider and monitored by means of a service level agreement. The responsibility for maintaining the service level agreement can be assigned to an individual within the organization. Outsourcing the information system means obtaining some or AII activities of the information system from an external service provider to handy all or parts of the data capturing and processing at a predetermined annual rate, rather than developing the organization's information system internally. Below are three outsourcing models that can be used. 12.31 On-Site Outsourcing This is when the service provider provides the resources or facilities at the organization itself. 12.3.2 Off-Site Outsourcing This is when the service provider provides the service at a location other than at the organization itself. 12.3.3B Ended Outsourcing This refers to a combination of on-site and off-site outsourcing. Activity 1.1 Go to your eTutor site and complete this activity. Why will an organization have an advantage over its competitors if its information system can produce information about sales figures, product availability and client requirements faster than its competitors can? Is your office supported by an in-house, on-the-premises, IS department or is the IS department located at the head office, central point? Why do you think this is the case? If you are not currently employed, ask someone who is, about his or her organization. Go to the discussion forum for study unit 1 and discuss this with your fellow students. 13. Summary Information produced by information systems forms the basis for major day-to-day -day decisions. People and organizations use information systems to help them achieve their goals. To use information systems effectively, it is essential for individuals to understand them in order to perform their daily tasks. Computerized information systems are essential for today's organizations as they process information more accurately and much faster. That is also the reason why an accounting information system has become an important component of any successful business. The next study unit, Study Unit 2, deals with types of information systems.